one of the problems we see in construction on either Giles County or Roanoke County are, uh, these are soil surveys and in the soil survey it specifies construction materials and whether or not soils are likely to be suitable for a particular land use. In Giles County and Roanoke County we have shrink swell clay. Shrink swell clay are clays that when they get wet they expand and they hold the water in between layers of clay. Um, so when they expand, there can be a layer of water to act as a lubricant between the layers of clay. In, and those same soils, when they dry out, they will shrink up um, and cause cracking in foundations or cracking in the clay material, in the soil material itself. Uh, these soils move on their own. They get wet, they heave up, and then when they dry out, they shrink down. They, if they're on a slope, they will creep down the slope every year as they expand and as they uh, shrink up again. As I mentioned, we've got several of these soils that have shrink swell clay. The clay increases with depth and so when a construction project goes uh, deeper than the surface, they oftentimes expose the clay. If the project leaves the soil bare and that soil dries out, it will uh, become dusty, even though there may be a layer of water held deeper in the soil profile. That dusty soil, that dusty clay blows into creeks or other water bodies and of course um, when it's dry and it slumps down off the hillside it goes into creeks as sediment. Um, what about it. what about the boring that is starting to take place under the streams? <clears throat> In some construction situations uh, boring may be an option to uh, get under a highway or something like that and the type of clay that's being used for that boring is bentonite that's mined out west in Montana for instance and that type of clay swells up a great deal and is used as a lubricant so the boring machine starts cutting into the I'll say a hillside into the soil this wet Bentonite is flushed in there to act as a lubricant for the drill bit head and then when that, uh, that uh, slurry of bentonite clay comes back through the tunnel, the boring, that is captured and put in a big shaker box that shakes the clay so that the clay settles down, flocculates and settles down in the bottom of the shaker box and the water is dewatered out of the clay, it's forced up and then that water gets um, ideally treated properly so that it doesn't pollute the creeks. That's all clay filled water. A similar thing happens when you have a big piece of machinery go on a piece of land that's been compacted and we have a high water table and there may be a layer of water beneath the dry soil and above the wet soil that can act as a lubricant when a machine comes by for instance and vibrates that can further dewater the lower layers making that water a lubricant so that upper layers shear off um, if it's on a slope. And that can also cause a machine to topple over. Do you think Mountain Valley Pipeline thought about any of these soil complexities when they were de designing the route? The soil surveys clearly state that the soil survey is not at a scale suitable for routing or construction of pipelines. Thank you. <laughs>